This problem looks at probably the trickiest sort of question involving sectors and also cones linked together. Now, to begin with, I want to find what the arc length of this sector is. Now, the full circumference, were it a full circle, would be 2 times pi times r. But this is a fraction of full circle, the fraction being 240 over 360. So the arc length is 2 times pi times 6 times by 240 over 360, which ends up being 8 pi. So that length there is 8 pi. Now, visualisation. This is now joined together to produce a cone. So these two edges are placed together, it perks up, that becomes the top of the cone, and this curved part here forms the curved part, i.e. the circle on the bottom. So this circle here must have a circumference equal to 8 pi. So again, that curved part is what forms the circle underneath. So I can therefore find the radius of this circle. Because circumference, in this case 8 pi, is given by 2 times pi times r, I think it's fairly obvious from this that r must equal 4, because 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 times pi is 8 pi. So r must equal 4 centimetres. Now then, I can therefore also find the height of the cone for the following reason. These two edges here joined to make the slant of the cone. So that 6 centimetres must be the slant height of the cone. So r is 4 and that is 6. So to find h, I can use Pythagoras. h squared plus r squared must equal 6 squared. h is unknown. r squared must equal 16. And 6 squared is 36. So h squared equals 20. Plus 20 plus 16 is 36. So h must equal root of 20. So I now know the height of the cone and the radius. So finally, I could find the volume. Now the volume of a cone is given by a third. The area of base times by the height. That is given to you in the exam. So, it's a third. Now the base is a circle. So it's a pi times by r squared. Well, r is 4, so it's pi times 4 squared. And the height we've worked out to be root of 20. So the volume is just this calculation here, entered into the calculator, and we get 74.9 centimetres cubed.